Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back for another game on PTCGO, and once again, I'm using my Darkrai deck. Now, this is my Darkrai Hammers deck. I don't know why I haven't been playing around with Darkrai lasers. I quite like Darkrai Hammers. So, I start off with a Sableye and an Absol, and that's a pretty good start. And I get to go first as well. So, I rip the random receiver, so I'm going to have that support of turn one, which is pretty nice. And with the energy, I'm going to get that Junk Hunt rolling. So I get a Dark Lore on my Absol as well. And I've even got a Bicycle there if I want to draw an extra card. So it looks like I'm going to be playing a Juniper, so I might as well play the Bicycle just for funsies. Although actually it will mean another card to discard. It's a tall scrapper, but it's not the end of the world. What you will notice, however, is my opponent has started off with a Durant. <coughs> now, this is a... Um, a card which hadn't seen a lot of play recently, but what this basically does is it discards one card from the top of your deck for every Durant in play, and the aim being that they run you out of cards, and of course if you can't draw a card at the beginning of your turn, you lose. So, I've already played one Juniper, so I need to be careful here that I'm not discarding too many cards, because I'm going to want to make sure that I can... Uh, get enough attacks off, kill enough Durants before he decks me out. Now, already here I'm seeing that I'm going to be using Absol. There's two reasons to use Absol. Firstly, he's a more efficient attacker. I don't know, I've got my Dark Patches, etc. The Durant deck is probably playing Crushing Hammer. It's going to be trying to get rid of my energy, as well as milling my energy, as well as milling my Dark Patches. And a two energy attacker is going to be a lot more convenient than a free energy attacker in Darkrai. But the other reason is, a lot of these Durant decks nowadays, they've evolved to run with the um, Plasma Kling Clang, which means I'm not going to be able to attack with Darkrai, so I'm going to have to attack with Absol. So, I want to be building up my Absol, and I'm just going to get a Junk Hunt off here. I'm just checking my discard to see kind of what I've got there. I'm going to get a Junk Hunt off turn one. And because I've got that energy switch in hand, I can guarantee the attack with Absol next turn. Because I've already got one energy on there, and there's an energy on the Sableye. Now what's interesting here is that my Absol is going to be doing 20 damage effectively, times the amount of Duran he's got out. So he's going to want to keep his bench small to stop the Absol one hitting him. But then of course he runs into this conundrum of, well, he needs to get as many Duran out as he can in order to actually be milling as many cards as he can from my deck. So really, he can either not play into my hands, and he's not going to be winning very fast at all, or he can play into my hands. If he gets three Durant out, I'm going to be one-hitting those Durants, so it's all good. So he gets his second Durant out, and he gives me a workable hand. But again, the whole point as we go through here is going to be trying to play as few cards as I can whilst one hitting. But immediately he gets a heads and a tails on laser, which means I'm not going to be able to do anything this turn. I should be playing Caldeo in this deck, but for some reason I think it's not actually in there. Don't ask me why, it's just not. But I've got the energy on my Absol, and there's not a huge amount more I want to do there. Now he did manage to mill away in energy, which is annoying, but it's not the end of the world. Now, the reason um, I'm getting a dark right out here is because I want to take advantage of that free retreat. I want to retreat that uh, Sableye for free, and then I want to be moving the energy onto something else. Now, if he's not playing the Plasma Kling Clang, then Darkrai becomes a very good attacker because he'll one-hit a Durant even if they've got an Evia Light on. Although I do run into the potential problem here of the fact that he can crushing hammer my energy off and that's going to be a problem. So I'm playing a few cards here, but I'm being very, very careful. I'm not playing anything more than I need to. So he wakes up. There's a no Verbank in play, so a Sableye's dying incredibly quickly. Up uh, very slowly, I should say. So he plays a crushing hammer, he misses out. That would have been pretty good for him. Now, I'm only actually playing 10 energy in this deck, and I'm not playing a super odd, but I am playing my full dark patch. It does mean that if he hits the heads on the crushing hammers, mills enough energy in dark patches, I could start running out of energy here. 
but I'm also playing a full complement of four energy switch. So what that does mean is that I can spread that energy around quite nicely so that if he does try and pull stuff active, I can work around it. So what I want to do here is get that uh, Absol active. Since he's got three Durants out and I've got a Dark Claw on that Absol, it means I'm going to be able to one-hit the Durant. But I'm going to start building up a Dark right here because what this is going to allow me to do is it means I'm going to be able to keep one-hitting those Durants even if he's got less than three out. But I don't want to play the Bicycle, I don't want to play the N, because I don't want to be running through my deck too quickly. My Dark Rider list, I actually really like it because I've designed it with random receivers with bicycles. I can run through my deck very, very fast. And if you look at some of the other videos I play with it on my YouTube channel, you'll see that I run through pretty much my whole deck. And I, I do it fairly quickly. But I don't want to be doing that here. So he gets to revive. Again, his Durant deck is basically built around getting and keeping those Durants. And he hits another heads on laser, which is frustrating to say the least. But I hit the heads, I wake up there. I've hit that dark patch, which means I can get one of those uh, energy back. That's in my discard pile. I can get it onto my dark cry. So I'm going to retreat the Absol. I'm going to stop that poison damage building up. And I'm going to get the KO with Darkrai. I don't want to play my Crushing Hammers here, because I'm going to get the KO anyway. And I don't want to be using any more cards than I need to. I'm not playing the N. I'm not playing the Juniper. I'm not benching the Darkrai. All I'm doing is attacking. And that's all I want to do. I've got my two attackers up. I want to switch between them. And th that's it. I just want to keep attacking, keep killing his Durant. And we're in a race here. The question is, can I kill 6 Durant? Because I'm probably not going to bench him here. With all his revives and super odds and level balls, I'm almost certainly going to have to KO 6 of them. Can I KO 6 of them before he discards all of my deck? Now, at one, some point he's probably going to start trying to catch a Stormy. And he's going to start trying to crushing hammer energy off if he can hit his hammers. And he's going to start poisoning me to try and keep me asleep. He's going to do anything he can to get extra turns. If he can trap something active, that's one more turn of milling. If he can keep me asleep through lasers, that's one more turn of milling. If he can get rid of enough uh, um, energy that I can't attack, it's one more energy of milling. And so we keep going. Now I'm poisoned, but he's got three Durant out. It means I get the one hit KO with Absol. Now, I didn't play an energy there. I should have done. I should have put an energy on either my Absol or my Sableye. Because at this stage, I've got two attackers. Those attackers aren't going anywhere. What I need to be doing is putting an energy on my Sableye and on my Absol to make sure that he can't catch a Stormy. Having said that, it's not the end of the world because I've still got all those energy switches. So if he does try and catch a Stormy, all I'm going to need is an energy switch to get an energy on whatever he's brought out. And you can see there, that's exactly what he's doing. Now actually, thinking about it, it probably was best not to play the energy, because had I played the energy on the Sableye, he would have captured the Absol, and then I'd have still needed the energy switch anyway. So actually, I take that back. I think I did the right thing by not playing that energy. Now he ends me to free here, but he actually ends me into an energy. That catcher stall is not going to work. And I'm very much in a driving seat here. At this point, we can assume he's not playing the Plasma Kling Clang, which means I can just keep rolling with my Absol and my Darkrai. Now, Durant was, for a little while, it was a bit of a force. It was a kind of deck you'd go out to tournaments, and you would invariably see one or two there. Some tournaments were downright owned by it. I mean, I remember going to um, London's regionals a couple of years ago, and it, it was all Durant. Um, I believe something like three of the top four decks were Durant or something silly like that. And a lot of people said that when Darkrai came out, that would be the end of Durant. And to be honest, it kind of was. If you think about everything that Durant's trying to do, it hammers energy off, and he gets another Tails on the hammer there. Although he's done good on laser flips, he has not done good on hammer flips. So, he's going to end me again. And all I need here really is one energy, and would you believe that I draw off his two card end? He gets the catcher, he catches the Absol, 
but it's not going to work. And unless he can hit heads on Crushing Hammer, his catcher stalling is done here. It's not going to work. Because now there's nothing he can catch a stall. And as well as that, he can't catch a stall with Darkrai very easily, because Darkrai gives everything free retreat when it's got a, a dark energy attached to it. Not only that, but I can be uh, spreading damage to the bench as well. So you can see here, this game was never really in doubt. It was, from the beginning, it's always been going in my favour. Had he hit heads on Crushing Hammer, had he milled more dark patches and more energy, then it, this might have been a game where the Durant deck would have done slightly better. But traditional Durant deck against the Dark Ride deck, especially now that it's got Absol there as well, it, it's just never going to do much. And to add insult to injury, there's another Tails on Crushing Hammer. So he gets another mill off, but my Dark Ride's going to take the last prize. If you are enjoying these videos I'm putting up, please do make sure to subscribe. There's going to be plenty of other content going up in the near future, including live games and some very special projects that I'm going to be starting work on very shortly. So please take a second to hit that subscribe button and check out my other videos. I would very much appreciate it. So one more Night Spear. And I take a nice 6-0 win here, just basically showing off the power of Darkrai against these Durant decks. Thank you very much for watching, and please make sure to check out all my other videos, and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers!